Hi, my name is Olufemi Williams. Today I would like to share with you a project that I did for my MBA in 2018. The reduction of preventable medication related healthcare costs by the adoption of pharmacist facilitated medication information websites. The background to this project. The annual cost of drug-related morbidity and mortality resulting from non-optimized medication therapy was $528.4 billion in 2016. Pharmacists have attempted to address this growing medication-related morbidity and mortality, that's uh, sickness and death, using numerous methods to improve drug use. We have found that consumers are increasingly comfortable with using the internet as a research tool for conditions and treatment information. So the purpose of the project was to create a website where pharmacists would actively provide public information and education to consumers. Consumers will be able to ask questions and receive answers directly from pharmacists. This, we hope, would reduce preventable medication-related morbidity and mortality, and that will lead to a reduced healthcare cost. So we have the thesis. There is an ever-increasing healthcare cost related to illness and death caused by misuse of medications. The widespread adoption of pharmacist-facilitated medication information websites would be an excellent resource for public education and therefore contribute to lower healthcare costs. So we did some literature review and we looked at the stakeholders who are those who will be affected by this, the public, the financial community, marketers, vendors, healthcare companies, healthcare professionals, government regulatory agencies, private accrediting associations, professional associations, the media, labor unions and political groups, pharmacies, board of directors, organization, management, and other professional and non-professional IT pharmacy staff. So we have our research design. Um, we have a membership website facilitated by individual pharmacists or a franchise system would use a qualitative research method. An organizational website facilitated by pharmacists in a large healthcare organization for its clients would use a quantitative research method. A medication information website coordinated by a global or national health organization with contracted local pharmacists would use a quantitative research method. And we have our research limitations. I'll provide um, the transcript of this recording so you can go over it yourself. But I just want to give you a high level overview with this presentation. So the SWOT analysis. For individual pharmacists or a franchise model, the strength, it's a new and innovative service. The individual pharmacist might have local connections or clients. The individual pharmacist is flexible and this can provide self-employment for a pharmacist. The pharmacist also has professional expertise and experience. The weakness. It's an expensive marketing plan and there's the inability to predict expected clientele. The individual pharmacist has limited resources and there's dependence on external online medication resources. There's also no insurance reimbursement at this time. Opportunities. Availability of new technology changes. The, one of the opportunities is the availability of new technology. There's changes in population profile or need, so hopefully there will be a 
new set of people every time who are interested in this service. There's a lack of dominant competition. It's a new market segment that offers improved profit. And there's a possibility of insurance reimbursement in the future. Threats. Competitor may, competitors may have the same innovative product or service. And there's um, the other threat is the lack of market demand or referral resources. For a large healthcare organization, the strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats are about the same. The strength of the healthcare, large healthcare organization that a smaller pharmacist does not have is that large healthcare organizations already have existing clientele, which you will see here. They already have existing clientele. Um, so, but most of the other things are just about the same in the SWOT analysis. The same thing goes for the global or national healthcare organization. The strength is that the global organizations already have existing global in initiatives, so they can always just add this to one of their initiatives. They already have the existing logistics. Uh, the opportunities these global organizations will be able to provide better health care at the grassroots and this will be provided by professionals who are already familiar with the local terrain. And then we have a timeline which was to start January till probably July and we choose the projects between January 1st and the 31st that has passed. The website content, give yourself about three months to add a lot of website content. Um, and then the creation of the website was to be between February and March. Then there will be training for pharmacists, technicians, marketers from February to March. And between April and June, the company will solicit, solicit for um, participants. So you actively solicit participants to come to this website, to look at it, to ask questions, and to give feedback. So that is, um, you see in the transcript that I'll be providing more details. Then there will be the evaluation. After a year, you evaluate and see if this project has had any effect. Now the budget, the budget depends on how the pharmacist decides to, or the pharmacist or organization decides to size the project because you might make it something small or you can make it something big so that will decide what the budget is but in most cases the pharmacy's salary is going to be the bulk of the variable costs then i have a budget table so in conclusion the idea of a pharmacist facilitated medication information website is innovative it will require revision based on consumer feedback However, the expected reduction in medication-related morbidity and mortality and the subsequent reduction in healthcare cost is a compelling reason to implement this project. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, we have a website that we have designed. It's called mywebpharmacist.com to kind of show a sample of what we are have in mind. Uh, so please visit mywebpharmacist.com. That's M Y W E B P H A R M A C I S T dot com. And that is a sample website 
just to give you an idea of what we are talking about. Thank you for listening.